Okay, the first question was, did NRCS do the engineering design for the system discussed in detail today? So, uh, Dana, can you uh, answer that question? No, those systems were all put in um, uh, independent of NRCS. Okay. So private, private engineers or um, engineers from the companies that supplied equipment. All right. Okay, next one coming in is how do separated solids compare to P fertilizer? How readily available is the P in the solids? So with that, yeah, I, I don't, um, I don't have a good answer for that today, um, and I didn't. I meant to brush up on that a little bit. I will, I guess, talk about that during the next webinar. Okay. And we'll present some information next uh, webcast on the Struvite system um, in relationship to availability of phosphorus from that. And it's um, actually quite good, but we'll provide uh, some more details next next month. Yeah, anecdotally, I can say um, it does appear that phosphorus is becoming back plant available uh, because they are using it as a fertilizer on their crop fields and, and using no... Uh, no commercial phosphorus fertilizer on those fields, and, and this has been going on for 10 years with no no negative impacts on uh, crop production, crop yield. Okay, question coming in um, again for you, Dana, on slide 11. Um, the unit for total solids is percent, and the other is pounds per thousand gallons. Just uh, I guess some clarification there on uh, slide 11. Uh -huh. That question makes sense. That's coming in from one of my graduate students. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's not slide, slide 11. I I meant to clarify that. I the the pounds or the the total solids in that table are are in a percent form uh, because that makes more sense to most people than pounds per per thousand gallons. The nutrients are in pounds per thousand gallons. So your nitrogen, phosphorus, those are pounds per thousand gallons. The solids is a percent. Okay. Mixing of units, sorry. Okay, hopefully that's clear to you, uh, Quayling. Um, and then Dave Haggis has asked, is the 1.3 cents per gallon at Green Meadows a total cost that includes the capital investment, or is that just operating cost? Just just the chemical cost. So uh, total cost, like I said, is probably more in the range of two to two, two to two and a half cents per gallon. Okay. And there was, um, I'll feel back, there was some work that Kurt Gooch and I did at Cornell probably eight years ago on, on uh, total cost, and, and I can dig that up if you'd like. Okay. All right, any other questions that might come in today? I don't see anybody typing. Well, I would like to thank uh, everyone for attending today. I think we had a pretty good crowd. I noticed there was about 70 at one point on the attendee list. We've got about 46 at this point in time. So um, if there's no further questions, I think we'll uh, go ahead and sign off for today and encourage you to be back with us next month on December 13th. So um, thanks for being present today.